I think when I first walked into this gym, it was the best thing I ever did for my life, for the people around me. It was such an education. You had everybody from Irish, travellers, uh, Asians, blacks, whites, girls, boys, able to say, well, we were all in this part. And people looked at this gym as, as though it was sort of unfunctional. This gym's been multicultural for 40 years. You have Harold Graham, originally from Nottingham. His parents were Jamaican, never spoke much, really quiet. My mum, a Cuban born Jamaican. My dad, a Dominican. Nads from the Yemen, he had kids from Poland. He had kids that couldn't even speak English. And there was one language spoken here, respect. Gang culture was left at the door. Any hatred, any bitterness was left at the door. I cannot remember one day when anything from the street spilled into the gym. There used to be some garages just around the back of here and it had National Front sprayed on the side. And everybody used to complain to Brendan saying, why aren't we getting half Brendan? He went, no, no, leave it, leave it. And then one day, Brendan let us all paint it off. And then he said, uh, does anybody know who did that? It was quiet. One of the lads in the gym, he said it was him. And this guy, Brendan didn't kick him out of the gym when he knew what he'd done, when he caught him. Brendan didn't, didn't expose him to everybody in the gym. What Brendan did and how he handled it, it was education. He made this young man live amongst other human beings so he saw them as human beings. And in doing that, he changed his whole mindset. And that, that's all it was. He could have dealt with him with hatred or disdain. He educated him. And it was the best thing he did for him as a young man. Boxing is the only sport that I personally can say is a proper leveller. No matter how rich you are, how black you are, how white you are, how brown you are, if you're a girl or boy. Because once you walk in here, and it's not just our gym, many gyms are the same. Once you walk into a gym, you've all got the same cause, the same outlook, the same want, the same desire. It costs nothing to box. It's a leveller. And that's why boxing will always stand the test of time. You don't need an expensive racket or an expensive set of clubs. You just need to be able to have the courage to walk through the door. Brennan Ingalls system works. I'm a product of St. Thomas's Boxing Club. I entered the gym with nothing, no natural talent, no natural raw ability. I entered the gym with nothing. I'm, I'm a product of the gym. I am the gym. Brennan always said that was his, his, his success story. And I get embarrassed about that. But in hindsight, thinking about it, yeah, it was. I wasn't a natural fighter, not naturally aggressive, proper mummy's boy. And I think even if I didn't become a world champion, the education I got here to be a father, a friend, a brother, a son, this made so much of a difference. And that was from coming to this gym. My outlook, my mindset, how I deal with situations. I would never think this way if I didn't come to this gym because I try to give people the benefit and the doubt until they prove they're wise. When situations are happening, I'm thinking, you just don't know. I'm going to give you the chance to know. Once you know, if you act like that, then I've got to deal with you differently. And so what's happening in the world right now, you've got one side that just don't know. And so once they know, then it's about education, educating one another. And so I can understand the frustration where you hear Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter as well. That needs to be put across because once you keep hearing Black Lives Matter, you're going to get people saying, well, what about white lives? What about Asian lives? Black lives matter as well. That's the point that should be put across. So people think, ah, well, I get you now. Doing it that way, then people get the picture. Just those simple words at the end, as well. Two words. And it makes you think about it completely differently. If you're now starting to get sick of hearing it over and over and over again, black lives matter as well. It's most important.